we're back with Fergus the Westie and his owner Marty. Now Westies, like most terriers, are quite active and full of beans of business. Would you say that Fergus is the same? Yeah, yeah, very much so, but he does get stubborn from time to time, yeah. Well, if he gets out and trying to get him back home, he's, he's, yeah, no chance. Now, Westies and other terriers can be a bit barky. Is he, is he a problem barker? Yeah, I've heard that as well, but no, he doesn't in this case. However, when he's having a doggy dream, he does bark, and I'd love to know what he's thinking about. <laughs> You're barking your sleep. Well, next up, we all know that Australia has loads of snakes, but when Jeremy was over there, he actually got to catch one. I sure did. It was pretty exciting. There are 2,900 species of snake in the world. Snakes are legless reptiles and traditionally seen as sinister, which is sometimes attributed to the fact that they have a long and unusual body shape. Today I'm in the city of Brisbane, Australia, where almost two million locals call this subtropical paradise home. A habitat they have to share with up to 400 species of snake. Knock, knock. Yeah, g'day. Hey, how are we going, Jeremy? Yeah, g'day. <laughs> it's not often that you have to shake someone's hand when they've got a snake in it. Now this is Jeff Jacobs, he's a professional snake catcher. Is that, that's right, isn't it? That's it, yeah. And, oh God, um... <laughs> yeah, they're non-venomous. They're not, good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got over 150 snakes in his own home, and oh, one's just biting me. Hey, don't do that, it's not very <laughs> nice. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. As a snake catcher, Jeff rehabilitates injured snakes and also removes them from people's property and homes. He's one of four snake catchers in the Brisbane region. So if, if someone was to find a snake in their backyard, what, what should they do? First up, move back from it, keep an eye on it, and if it's something venomous like this, then get a snake catcher out to deal with it. There's actually two species in here. We've got Stimson eyes and Maculosis. I thought I would feel a lot more edgy than I do, but... Well, we're working you up slowly. Yeah. We're going to get to the big fellas. OK, yeah, that might change things <laughs> somewhat, eh? <laughs> but as you can see, look, they're not violent right. creatures. They're not aggressive. No. This is actually really quite neat having these guys on yeah, there. Yeah, they, they're sweet. Jeff decides that I'm up to meeting his three metre pet python. She's all good. The tail starts flicking around, start worrying, just sure. drop it. Yeah. It is, it's a little unnerving because she's hissing a wee bit. <laughs> oh, look at that. She's yawning. Look at that. She's bored with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's enough to keep you on edge. It's not a natural thing to, to do for me, particularly as a New Zealander, I have to say. Um, having a snake this size sort of checking me out and hissing like that. Um, I'm aware that probably the worst I'm going to get is a, a few puncture wounds, um, but it's enough to make you feel a little cautious. Yeah. It certainly hurts when one of this size latches on. Love the water, huh? As she slips into the pool for a swim, Jeff gets a call out from the other side of town. G'day, how are we going? Pull the shed apart to, to uh, change the filters in it now, and I started <laughs> lifting it up and they come across him this morning. You want to see where he is? Is he home? Yep, there he is. Yeah, a striking little snake. No. The adrenaline goes a bit, doesn't it? Sort of when you're peering under there not knowing what you're going to come across, yeah. Being small, and we're going to have him in the vehicle with us. We want to tie that up pretty good. That would give you a bit of a rude shock, wouldn't it, if it came up the seat? Well, with this fellow here. Home. Thanks again. Although snakes are fearsome for humans, they hold an important place in the Australian ecosystem, so are protected rather than exterminated. A key part of Jeff's work is releasing the snakes he catches back into the wild. If I release them into somewhere like here where it's nice and moist, there's plenty of water here, so there's frogs, there's food for him, he's less likely to go back in amongst the people. Jeez, he just disappears, isn't he? Man. And with the snake safely released, it's on to the next job. Jeff's just had a phone call. Um, a woman's got a snake in her barbecue and we're going to go sort it out, so it's quite exciting. you got a bit of a snake problem. And the barbie. In that corner. Oh, that's a carpet python. This little fella here, he's non-venomous, non-aggressive. He eats your rats and mice. Here we go. Hey, you know, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Right. See, ya. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks, Jeff, for giving me an insight into the world of snakes and snake catching.
No worries at all, Jeremy. My pleasure. Yeah, well, as you know, we don't have snakes in New Zealand, so it was something very different for me. Yeah, as it would be. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's changed my perspective on, on snakes as well. You know, they're not the, the scary ogres that a lot of people think they are. No. Once you get to know what they're about, see what they, how they behave, it's all good. Oh, sounds like the phone again. Yeah, it looks like we're back in and at it. No rest for the wicked. Fascinating animals and certainly a job that's out of the ordinary. And you know what? He's never been bitten by a venomous snake. That's incredible. Well, time now for our Animal Academy salute. This week going out to Honey the Great Dane. Now, Honey is an outreach therapy dog. She visits rest homes, rehabilitation centres and youth justice, where she's a real hit. And in her spare time, she loves to dance, recently taking out first prize in her division at the National Dog Assembly, where she danced with her owner, Sin Yee, to the tune of Hey Big Spender. You can even see her on YouTube. Well done. Now remember, if you know any people or animals who deserve an Animal Academy salute, please let us know. Look us up on tvnz.co.nz forward slash Animal Academy and tell us all about them. Well that's it for this episode of Animal Academy. Thanks to Fergus and his owner Marty. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Hooroo.